I'm back in my van. Well, you can see that, obviously. My van's a mess at the moment. Um, I've been moving some logs and bits and bobs. Um, every time I go out for a walk, the carpet is just gets filthy. I thought, what can I put down in the car on the floor that will be easy cleanable, but that then doesn't become dangerous, as in slippery, because I thought if I put some lino down here, um, you only have to be wet and you could go arse over you know what and fall out the back of the van which is no good so that's a bit of an issue the other thing is the decor I know is very basic you see these wonderful videos on YouTube where people have done up their vans and they've got panels they've got shelves they've got all their stuff available they go out in all weathers and they're there peering out windows looking at the unclement weather of the winter and having a lovely time brewing cups of tea if I shut all the doors of course in here I've only got the tiny little window over there which at the moment just looks out to a brick wall and a fence um, but if I'm out anywhere in the countryside, it's all dark. If I open the doors, you've got the wind coming in and it's cold. So it's a bit of an issue. But what I wanted to look at today, and I'm, I'm a bit defeated by this at the moment, is there's panels in the van. I've got my blanket here, which is sort of hiding them. But behind these are panels. I tried to get them out earlier today and I couldn't get them out. The little things I think are glued in and it's a bit of a job and I don't know what to do. Do I skim this side with a bit of plywood and screw it to the frame of the van which I really don't want to do um, or try and put material over these internal panels which I can't get off. So that's another blooming thing because I'm absolutely quite hopeless at all this sort of stuff you know the, the basic building I can do but the finessing it is I'm struggling with um, or the other idea I had is maybe I could put a curtain a bit like this blanket but a curtain on a pole quite where it would go probably have to go here pleated and then hanging down so a nice one piece of material hemmed at the top pleated and hanging down so it goes behind the bed that's sort of what I was thinking maybe is a is an option because that might keep it warm on on the inside when it's cold um, but also it would make it colorful and also if I wanted to change that it would be relatively easy obviously if I had it paneled you could fix shelves and other things to it so I'm a bit I, I haven't got the money to go and get somebody else to do it for me I don't really know what I want to do but I want to get the van finished so I can go off on tour no matter what the weather and get going and I feel a little overwhelmed by the task ahead the other option is with these panels I wondered maybe I could either make something and sew it like um well hang on I've got a tea towel here but it might illustrate what I mean you could make something I could now with my um new sewing skills such as they are I could sew something that is using drawing pins or tacks because this is some sort of wood if that won't come out on its own I could just tack into there something that adds a bit of color and makes it you know it have to be nice and taut possibly maps if I could get maps on material or I could print on canvas I suppose I could get printed some maps on canvas and and somehow put it in it all within this in a fake frame maybe that would be a, an answer um, I'm just t today is a bit about planning things I'm a bit confused you know if that was in a frame on here it might it just to, to smarten up the van and brighten it up is very much the 
thing I'm trying to do. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to sort out today, or at least think about, my garden is a mess. It's an absolute, it's a terrible mess. And I'm trying to store wood that people give to me. Uh, there's stuff that needs chopping up um, and it needs tidying up and f some little raised beds put in so I can grow some veg and, and all of that. And it's a right mess. But I wanted to think about this outhouse idea that I was going to have. Well, I am no artist, as you would have seen in perhaps a previous video where I was showing off my uh, attempts at drawing, but um, sketching just or planning or working out a simple sort of design, I think anybody should be capable of pretty much, even if you illustrate using stick people um, to give you an indication of the, where people could be stood um, and, and doing walls, where I, fall down is the perspective of things. But what I'm planning on doing is to get an overall layout from a bird's eye view, I think, um, so I can work out the sort of thing. Then I, I'm gonna, I, I haven't measured up precisely, so th the first ideas are just my design, then I'm gonna measure it and work out where everything fits. It's just to sort of get a, an idea, really. And also, I want to think about how it's going to overall look. One of my lovely members of the audience suggested that I turn my middle room, which is my utility room, into a pantry. And it's at the moment, I, I just can't do that. There's too much stuff in there. But I thought the outhouse would be the pantry where the white goods are going, the sink, the washing machine, um, and yeah, you could put the curtains, you know these sort of ideas where they hide things behind uh, pleated curtains, a bit like what I was saying with the van. So I, in a way, I think this could be that keeping in mind my sort of look back to the Victorian 30s house, uh, Victorian and 30s house, then to, I want to expand that sort of feel and look, which would be nice. Um, so that's what I try and get out of here onto paper. So, let's uh, start and make a bit of a, a rough sketch. Uh, yeah, this is where the old brain's got to start thinking. Right. <laughs> right. I seem to have managed to get uh, some bird's eye plans on paper, but um, I'm going to ink them in and then I, I'll show you uh, because pencil doesn't show up terribly well on camera. So I'll just ink them in and then we'll have a look and see what it looks like. And then I want to try and see if I can draw a 3D version of it so that it gives me a bit more of an, uh, an impression of what it might look like. Uh, and then hopefully you can see what I'm trying to do. So, let's get the old ink out. Right, I think, I think I have enough now to explain from a bird's eye point of view what we're doing. So, cast your eyes on this. So what we've got here is three views 
of the, um, the garden and the area we've got to work on. So over here is what we have today um, and the mess it is. Here is the space that we have available and then this is what I want to work on. So over here, what we've got, this is the house, uh, the building, this is actually the kitchen. There's the back door. Um, that's the, um, the windowsill of my utility room or old um, dining room. This is where, where I've got the logs at the moment underneath a bit of um, felt and then logs all down here. And this is a hatch down to the drain. So it's a drain hatch in the middle. It's in an awkward place, but I've had to put up with it. Shed here. This is actually just uh, a space that's filled up with um, some timber ready. And this is all just junk. Um, and these are logs under here and that's the back gate. So take that away and you end up basically with the back door and then the space that I will have. These are the down pipes from um, the toilet and the gutter. And they go into a drain which is under the kitchen window. That's the kitchen window just there. That's the drain cover. So there's a little drain here that underneath all of this runs down to here. So, and the, the, the loo also runs into here. So I, underneath, I haven't got to worry about that. But the building area that I've got, really, I want to put the outhouse or the new scullery up to this point. So the hatch is available, but outside the door. So it's just this area here. So that translates to, so back with the kitchen door, back with the windowsill, and now the scullery. So I'm putting my white goods in here, I'm putting a fridge, a uh, washing machine, and then I shall have hopefully enough space, I think, for a little cupboard, which will just house bits and bobs. Um, over this side, there'll be a shelf or a shelf unit. And then here is where the butler sink, I've actually drawn that a bit small, I think, it's going to the butler sink and a draining board is going to go in this area, probably further up and built around these pipes, no doubt. That is the drain that goes out underneath the concrete to the, the uh, drain cover. Um, this will all be raised up um, probably about four inches, something like that. So you would actually step up out of the kitchen into this. It's just if, if we get water and it does flood underneath, I don't want it coming into this area. So that's really the, the main crux of it. So it's only going to be built out of timber. Um, it's going to be classed as a temporary building, a lean-to. It's going to have uh, some sort of perspex roof. Uh, I don't know what they call it now, but there's a sort of carbonated something or other roof. So light will come in from above it's not going to be too high. Um, and what I now need to do is an elevation looking towards it with the door and how things will set out. The, the roof, I think, will slope down away from the house towards the door. And then there'll be a little gutter that will go back into the, into the little drain underneath the, um, underneath the sink. So it'll have to go through a hole back in. And that's kind of it. But I want, what I want to try and do is, um, as I'm calling it a scullery, because all the, the, the fridge, the washing machine, and, and all of that kind of stuff can be out, mops, brushes, um, axe, and, and all of that can be out there. Maybe I, there's a bit of wood storage in there as well. That could be quite good. Um, there'll be some light loss, of course, through my main window, but light will still come through the kitchen window. Um, and then with the sink gone, that area to my left opposite the SE will have the, um, my homemade sofa. So I can kick back, relax, cup of coffee in the winter, particularly um, when cooking or in the evening. I only have to heat up one room. So that's pretty much the overall concept there. So the next bit is just to draw a sort of 3D version of it um, in situ. And then um, it's a question of actually building the blooming thing, which of course I'm, I'm aiming to do before we get into the main part of the spring. I just want to get the weather out of the way because as you'll appreciate, we've had a lot of wind, we've had a lot of um, rain and it's not been ideal. I need to tidy up the garden 
um, and sort those sort of things out. Well, I think you could spend uh, forever, really, trying to improve the drawings. My perspectives and straight lines are, are a bit wibbly-wobbly. My angles aren't quite right, but I think you get the idea. So here we are. This is, um, you've got the external side of what it looks like. That's probably not very much to scale. And then you've got the internal side. So we're looking as if the wall in the garden, the north wall, is gone. You've got the kitchen wall on the right and the back existing window, uh, which goes into the utility room. And there you've got the goods. So you've got my fridge, you've got the washing machine, you've got uh, possibly a cupboard or something, and the butler sink, or the Belfast sink, rather. And I, what I like about that is there's, it's, there's a lot of scope in there for other bits and bobs, storing other things like mops and what have you, but also it's a set in a way so that I can, I can do things. I can talk to you about stuff that's going on. I can show you what I'm growing or um, all sorts of bits and bobs really. Um, and the other thing is that it's only got two walls that need to be made because there'll be the two existing walls of the house and the polycarbonate roof. And, and that's kind of it, really. Um, the shed, I'm going to reduce the shed that I've got, which is literally behind this wall, um, in, in half, which will give me probably about three, three and a half inches extra, uh, feet, rather, of garden space. So the logs that are currently in this area will now be shunted further back. Well, it's a great idea, it's a dream, it might work out. I think there's a, there's a lot of work to do. It's actually probably a bit more narrow than my drawing, in actual fact. The door is here, is how I envisage. There's the pipes, the window, so fridge, washing machine, cupboard, window, Belfast sink, not much of a draining board, it has to be said. Um, and that's the plan so far. Golly, I'll have to do a bit of render work on the house in this area beforehand, I think just to make the insides very nice, but then the exterior of the house needs sorting out and, and another recoat probably on the top, so there's a hell of a lot, but can I do it? It's worth a try. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, a little bit of planning. I've also had some other, since doing the drawings, I've got some other ideas for the inside of the van, so I'll tell you about those in another video. Anyway, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, support what I do, and I'll continue to bring you these videos. I hope it's been interesting. Till next time, bye-bye.